Morning, White TPC, YouTube, Pipe Miner. Uh, I have this morning a VR for somebody I consider to be a pretty good friend. Uh, the Carving Piper, Jared. He, as most of you know, if you follow him or either on YouTube or Instagram, either one, he is uh, a very talented carver does things that most of us could only wish. I got to grab something. But, uh, he does a lot of carving, you know, just some things are little guys, you know, some of them are very large projects. All of them are just beautiful when he gets done. I, I just, I, I really enjoy seeing what he comes up with. But, uh, He's doing a giveaway, you know, just to, kind of just because. And, uh, Jared, you had asked us to show you a tamper that we had whittled. Well, uh, I have one of those. But I also have tampers that I make that don't really qualify as whittled. Because I make them with, my, I use my bandsaw and I use sanders and that kind of stuff. But I'm going to show you those before I get to the one that I've got that I actually whittled. Now I'll tell you where, where I was when I did that. But anyway, these are the, this is the, one of the first ones that I made. And that's Purple Heart. And it's, you know, it's got a little just small diameter tamper that I wanted them to be small enough that they would fit in a corn cob since I started with that first one I have kind of changed the design just tweaked it just a little bit to where now I've got these and this one that's Paduke I showed this in that video yesterday and it's got the little scoop on this end you know so that you can keep wandering off camera but you can scoop out your bowl with it you know and it's got a curve to it so it kind of follows the profile of the bowl and that in the middle there is just for serves no purpose other than to be decorative I guess or give you something a little bigger to grab a hold of while you're tamping and then of course the little damper end you know this one was made out of blood wood same thing you know just they're all the same there's the damper end on that one now interestingly enough put pictures of those on Instagram this weekend after I got them done and I uh, had a couple guys just very shortly start hitting me up about are they for sale and, you know I hadn't really given that much thought but I guess I, I wouldn't feel right selling these these are I kind of made these fairly quickly and they're not what I would consider you know prime candidates for selling I, I would give these to somebody but anyway that's just something that I kind of enjoy doing now I don't know Jared that that to me that doesn't really count as whittling because like I said I use my bandsaw and I use sanders and that kind of stuff this one on the other hand is a chunk of zebra wood that I had one weekend when I was going to a camp out and uh, I sat down and that one was aside from the sanding that was all done essentially with what I use for a pocket knife you know it's just that little uh, utility blade holder I started using my palm gouges but that zebra wood is hard and I've I've got I actually bought a carving knife a flex cut carving knife and this stuff was just tearing the crap out of that carving knife so I, I quit using it and went to just using this because <laughs> I could beat that blade up don't care 
get home and swap it out for another one. But anyway, that one is all just carved. And it's just, it's something I had just a short piece of it. And I put a little notch in it on this side where my finger fits. It shows up better like that. And then I put a little thumb notch in it on this side because I was at a Boy Scout camp out, you know, and the the activities and stuff that they had going on, you know, that occupies the boys. So I get some time to just hang out and kind of enjoy the outdoors. So I sat back with my knife and whittled away on that little chunk of zebra wood till I got this. And it works. I mean, it fits in my corn cobs. It's been used quite a bit. And then I started getting tampers from some other people, you know, and uh, I still get that one out and use it every once in a while, but I've started using other people's tampers, you know, because it's cool to have stuff like that that you get from somebody else. And every time you get one of them out, it makes you think, you know, where you got it and that kind of thing. So, but uh, if anybody's watching this that isn't subscribed to Jared, I'll put a link in in the video in this video for his channel but go check him out he's a really nice guy uh i won't get into too much about him let you go look it up and find it for yourself just needless to say he's a hell of a carver <laughs> so uh that should take care jared I, I i enjoy our conversations you know I, we both get busy don't get to talk as much as we used to but you know, we catch each other on Voxer and occasionally on weekends or something we'll end up on house party. And, but looking forward to our next conversation, man. So until then, remember, life is short. Stop and smell the smoke.